what is going on everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you are old then I want to thank you for staying locked in and going through this process with me as I go on this journey to be a consistent youtuber um, so as you know we are all in the midst of a pandemic COVID-19 has hit us all um, some of us in more dynamic ways than others and my heart and prayer goes out to all the families out there that have been affected by this dreadful disease um, I'm praying for you and my family is praying for you and you know let's just all do our part staying home social distancing and staying safe so while we do that I know I'm not the only one that is at home and looking for things to do and ways to keep myself busy uh, so today I decided to tackle my spice cupboard you can see here typical spice rack everything's out of order and some of it I can barely reach every time I go to cook I can barely find anything and this bad boy needs to get organized so I've decided over here I went to the dollar store and I bought all these pretty jars and bigger jars and a label maker. So I'm gonna try and organize this mess here. I've seen a few tutorials online. So I've decided to have a go and get my life organized, get my cooking life organized. Should be fun. Um, and I have no prior experience to organizing anything I'd like to call myself a neat person, but uh, organizer per se, not so much. But I've been, yeah, as I said, been on Pinterest, been online, seeing people do the organization, and I thought I'd have a go at it and start off with spices, because I think it should be pretty simple, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and wash the bottles out, dry them, and uh, start pulling out stuff out of my cupboard and seeing what I got and yeah, let's we'll see what I can do here with this cupboard. Okay, so the tedious job of washing all of the containers is complete, washing them, drying them. Now the fun part begins. I get to take out everything out of the spice cupboard and organize and pour them into jars. So let's begin that. Okay, so not as bad as I thought. I do have a lot of things to sort out, probably to throw out, probably not good anymore. But for the most part, over here, have that to organize, not too much. And then the cupboard. So let's organize that. So, um, quick update. I have done majority of the labeling and putting them into packages unfortunately I didn't realize how time-consuming this is and um, I didn't really organize how many containers I would need so I am short after my count I'm short about 18 more of the small containers one of the bigger containers 
Um, we'll take, give you a look. So, so far, coming along really nicely. I have this area here where I still need to put some into the packages, but the labels are really nice. It's looking really good. I'm very happy with how it's turning out. The labeling also took a minute, um, but it's coming together. And then, I was able to clean out the cupboard, so it's nice and clean already for me to start putting all of these away inside there, so that's exciting. So obviously it's late, so I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to go back to the dollar store to pick up the rest of the containers, and I'll finish this project tomorrow. So until then, it is about almost 11.30 p.m. I'm going to make myself a matcha latte and call it a night. And then we'll continue this tomorrow. Early the next morning. Hey everybody, so today is day two. Um, like I said last night, I ran out of containers, so I went out early this morning. I got picked up the containers. I also made a list of all the other things that I might need and I saw some spices that were missing. So I did all of that and now I am running because I had to run my dishwasher anyway. So I put everything in there and I'm running the dishwasher, washing the containers, going to cook and then I'm going to cook and then I'm going to get back to labeling and finishing up the organization of this spice rack I'm mean, our spice uh, covered I'm very excited about it and I think it's gonna look amazing so yeah that's an update and I'll be back with you guys soon okay guys so I am finally finally finished putting together it could have been easier had I have done the proper steps before I started but nonetheless it is done and I'm going to show you now what it looks like. Okay, okay. Ta-da! All of my spices are organized. And at the top there, it's all leftover and things that I can refill, but I've decided to place a uh, place it in a basket to keep it nice and neat. But yeah, everything is pretty much in order of spice type. Everything's labeled. My kids saw it and were like, oh no, it's gonna be harder to find things, but I don't think so. I think it will keep everything neater and just more desirable to the eye. So that's it. That is the spice cupboard. Nice and organized. Pretty proud of that and now I'm feeling like I need to organize everything else in this kitchen so so as you can see I got a few more things I got some more bigger containers where I did brown sugars black pepper um, and white sugar and sea salt table salt and so that's organized in there and any other really big containers like this is curry powder so i wasn't able to transfer that into a container and i don't want to i like the container it's in so i left that like that also down here i got some other containers for i'm starting with green so i'm gonna continue in here but this is kind of like my oil and rice and cereal type of slash so i started organizing here as well so yeah, this is what I've completed. So that is it. That I'm very proud of that project. It kept me busy two days worth. Um, some tips I would give for organizing. Number one, write down all your spices that you have and know the quantities of them. 
Um, number two, then you would go out and purchase your containers and just so that you have a better idea so you didn't have to go through what I went through. And number three, be prepared to want to continue to do way more in the kitchen because now that look, looks aesthetically pleasing to my eye. Now I want to do like everything else like that. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, another project down as we go through this pandemic. Some good things are coming out of it. And yeah, we'll stay tuned to see what else I'll do around the house. Until next time, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.